Hi everybody, this is Ikaro Ferri from Spectra Audio. And today I have three great news related to Acidgen Hardware Edition. First, I'm excited to announce that we're finally releasing another batch of hardware units. This latest batch took a bit longer than expected because of many new manufacturing challenges caused by COVID, especially here in Brazil. Nevertheless, we will finally be opening pre-orders very soon. If you don't want to miss your chance of getting one of these units, make sure to follow Spectro Audio on Instagram and sign up for a newsletter to get notified about pre-orders. Shipping might be a little bit more complicated this time, again because of COVID, but I hope to have options available for customers worldwide. The second announcement that I have for today is that a brand new 2.0 firmware for Acidgen is now available. Here's a quick overview of what's new. Acidgen is now four times more fun and more useful because it can now sequence up to four channels simultaneously. To select a different channel, simply hold down function, tap generate and release the function button. Although each channel is completely independent, it can be set to output to any MIDI channel. They all follow the same key and scale. You can either use the additional channels to sequence multiple instruments or combine multiple channels to create more complex sequences. It's now easier to adjust the swing amount. Simply hold function and set the swing amount via the algorithm knob. We've added a new internal clock to Acidgen, so you can now jam without having to send a MIDI clock. To activate the internal clock, hold function and flip the scale switch up. The internal tempo can be adjusted by holding down function and turning the key knob. Acidgen will also output its internal clock as MIDI clock, so it can also be used as a master clock source for other gear as well. There is also a new Auto Variate feature that, when enabled, automatically generates a variation of the running sequence every 4 bars. It's a great way of keeping things moving throughout a live set. As with the MIDI CC sequencer and the keyboard shift features, it can also be enabled per channel.
The 2.0 firmware also includes other great new features and improvements, such as additional MIDI CC mappings, adjustable bass velocity, configurable scales, improved density distribution, and more. All new units will ship with the new 2.0 firmware, and we will also release update instructions for existing units very soon. And the final announcement for today is that, to celebrate the new batch and the new firmware, we're also releasing Acid Lab, a free Groovebox ROM for the Nintendo Game Boy. Acid Lab is a fun way of trying Acid Gen in a completely different context. It features a synthesizer sequenced by a trimmed down version of Acid Gen and a four part drum synth. Simply load the game and press start. You can press select to move between the different pages, and the D-pad to change the different parameters for acetogen, the synth, and the drum parts. To generate a new synth or drum sequence, hold B and press A. While it may not be as deep as other music tools for the Game Boy, this was an incredibly fun side project to make and I hope it will bring some joy to other people as well. You can download the ROM for free from our website and try Lab on any Game Boy emulator or even on real hardware if you have an SD card adapter. We also have some incredible new software and hardware releases scheduled for 2021. So if you'd like to know more about them, sign up for our newsletter and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Spectro Audio. And as always, thanks for watching.